progression number one is streamlining drill, increasing in arm strokes. This is separated after each 25 by 25 metres of kick. Here we see streamlining, that's torpedo dolphin kick under the water with the arms stretched out in a torpedo position, an undulating kick. I'd like you to think about the dolphins that you saw earlier in this tape. This is two strokes to start the 25, followed by streamline kicking underwater, a breath when you need a breath, and then two strokes to finish the 25. This of course allows the swimmer to steady themselves and only do a few strokes at a time to develop quality control in their technique rather than get tired and swim with poor efficiency. This progression is continued, adding a stroke at the start and the finish. So here we serve a swimmer doing four strokes underwater in a torpedo position, then four strokes to finish the 25. These 25s are separated by a 25 metre kick. It is important in streamlined drill that you can also consider an alternative kicking position in between each segment of streamline plus two, streamline plus four, and streamline to the full stroke, alternating with 25 torpedo kick on your back, then 25 with torpedo kick on your front, 25 with arms folded kick front and back, and 25 overlapping arms kicking, both on your front, side or back. This is an extension of the drill as you've seen it, but one which really develops core body strength and range of movement through the hips for the younger butterfly swimmer. It should be initially practiced with fins. We have progression number two. This is a difficult progression and should only be learnt by swimmers who are well advanced in their skills. It can be done with or without fins. Here we have the swimmer once again torpedo kicking in a nice streamlined position, fast kick, going down the pool for the first 25 underwater without breathing if possible and coming back in a torpedo position on their back the knees staying under the water. It can also be practiced in an arms folded position. Of course this is an advance on the torpedo position and is a little more difficult. It means that the swimmer is looking at the bottom which stabilizes a nice head position and it means that they have less leverage on their arms and it keeps the front of the body much steadier. For those swimmers that have too much front movement in their stroke I suggest this arms folded. Those swimmers who have great sculling capability may practice the drill or choose to practice the drill or any section of the drill with a sculling position out in front. There are many swimmers at international level now that use the sculling position to develop speed and feel of the water off the start of the turn. This drill cannot be perfected by every swimmer and it's certainly something that needs quality control for the young swimmer. Here we have a young swimmer doing dolphin or beyondy drill. I first witnessed and learnt this drill from North Thornton at the University of Cal Berkeley in America who coached Matt Biondi. We see the drill with six dolphin kicks under the water. The athlete pulls back in a nice pattern bringing the hands together under the belly button Coming to the surface after the fourth kick, taking a breath, putting their chin on their chest and then going down deep. It's important that the fins at the top of the kick point towards the roof and at the bottom of the kick point towards the bottom. That's called Beyondi drill or dolphin drill. This is dolphin plus one. This means that every second time the swimmer comes out of the water for a breath, they will take a complete arm stroke concentrating on the fins at the top of the kick pointing to the ceiling or the sky and at the bottom of the kick pointing towards the bottom. Ensuring that quality turns, chin on the chest. This swimmer, the older swimmer as you can see of the two, is not lifting the hands high out of the water at the end of the dolphin drill and tends to keep them tucked into the side more. This is then progressed into dolphin plus two and here we see the younger of the two swimmers 
who's lifting his hands and releasing the stroke at the back of the stroke with an accentuated push up. This is an ideal skill for the young swimmer. I'd like you to look and witness the position of the fins at the back of the kick of this young boy and you will see the fins pointing nicely to the roof and you will see great acceleration through the kick with the legs kicking down at a speed faster than that which is going through the water. Every second time the swimmer comes up two strokes one breath and every other time a normal dolphin drill. Here we have dolphin one, two, three. This swimmer is now using no fins. This is much harder of course. This means that the swimmer will take a dolphin and then one stroke, a dolphin, then two strokes, a dolphin, then three strokes. And during this one cycle, they must achieve the 50 meters of swimming. There's the dolphin. Now we would expect three strokes. One, two, and three strokes to finish on the wall. And that's perfect. Now we reverse this drill and go three, two, one. This becomes a little harder. The athlete takes three strokes, one breath. Now they will do a dolphin drill. The kick here could be a little harder and a little more accelerated. This athlete would tend to need to bend his knees a little in order to get traction on the water, but we saw it much better then. He corrected that. The chin is good. Taking a breath, staying just on the water level when he surfaces to take that breath or take a stroke. And this drill is done very, very well. The next one is to do slow motion drill. Slow motion is swimming as slow as you possibly can, but as efficiently as you possibly can, recalling all the previous steps in the progression. This is where we finally put the butterfly technique together, concentrating on a nice flowing upper body, a flat back as the athlete kicks into the stroke and kicks out of the stroke. That means the first kick occurs as the hands enter the water and the next kick occurs just prior to the exit of the hands out of the water and the release of the stroke. A drill to enhance the timing of the stroke is two right, two left, four double. This athlete has chosen to breathe to the side and if you're a side breather that's exactly the way you should do it. But if you're a front breather then you should breathe up and front. This young athlete of course is struggling with this drill and it's a very very difficult drill for a young athlete to learn. It is suggested that this drill be kept slightly later till senior years. Here we have minimum maximum drill. This drill is done in every stroke and finishes the drill. It's where the athlete goes maximum effort, but holding a minimum of strokes. That's simulating the stroke, the stroke count that they've held on the previous parts of the drill. Recalling all the skills that they've learned previously and now doing it at maximum effort, but controlled by the minimum number of strokes. Added together, you will have a minimum maximum drill. The drill is then, or the progression is then finished off with the reverse of the first section of the drill. This is where the swimmer will swim 25 meters of dolphin kick on the back, a tumble turn, a push off from the wall, and then 25 meters kicking on their front underwater. This last 50 should be done at max effort so that the end of the progression is done with a broken 100 meters butterfly. The mini max, and then that max effort underwater to finish off. Once again, avoid the poor recovery position when teaching butterfly. Here you see a nice recovery, long strokes, breathing every two or every three at training. That allows you to breathe at will during racing. Progression number three is freestyle into butterfly. This progression is used to develop the young freestyle swimmer who has poor skills in butterfly into a great butterfly swimmer. It can also be used for the distant swimmer who wishes to learn two beat kick or for the a butterfly swimmer who wishes to learn side breathing. The first section of this drill is normal freestyle with dolphin kick 
on each hand entry. That is just normal freestyle, and as the right hand kicks in, the left, both feet kick down the dolphin action, and as the left hand enters the water, both feet kick down. This tends to teach the swimmer rhythm, but the head position must, may, must stay permanently on the surface of the water. The second part of this drill, or the second repeat of this drill, is freestyle with dolphin kick exactly the same. But it's done with the head up, chin on the surface, and exactly the same as we've just seen, with the hand entering and the feet kicking down simultaneously on each entry, both right and left. The third repeat is right arm, left arm, double arm and breathe. This is where the swimmer now puts their head back down and they do catch up. They do right arm, dolphin kick in. Left arm, dolphin kick in. Pull both arms back together, breathe in front, keeping the chin on the water, throw the arms long at the other end of the pool and kick in. Then they will go left arm, kick in, right arm, kick in and repeat double arm and breathe. The important part of this drill is to kick into your stroke and out of your stroke and it can be transferred easily from freestyle into butterfly. The fourth repeat is exactly the same as we've just done and should only be practiced by those swimmers wishing to learn side breathing. That is, with catch up freestyle, right arm, breathe to the side as in freestyle, but kick into the stroke and catch up. Left arm, breathe to the side, kick into the stroke and catch up and then double arms back, no breath at all. And repeat it, but reverse the cycle. So the athlete has symmetrical technique on both sides of their body. The fifth repeat is used with fins and the athlete will swim normal butterfly, practicing either side breathing or front breathing every two or three strokes. This is an ideal drill for developing the young swimmer from their freestyle technique into butterfly, or for the distance freestyle swimmer to learn two beat kick. This can be taught at a very young age. The male swimmers in their two right, two left, four double drill, which can be done with the hand streamlined out in front and the other arm working, or catch up with the hand by the side, and certainly for the experienced swimmer who wishes to improve their timing, it is far better to do this drill with the hand by the side, although it can be done with the young swimmer with the hand extended out in front. The male going two, two and four practices doing eight strokes for the 25 and 16 strokes for the 50, which is ideal stimulation for competitive senior swimming. However, for females, who aren't quite as strong and need to stroke a little longer or a little more, we suggest that the athlete practices three right, three left, three double. This of course allows the female swimmer one more stroke per 25 and two more strokes per 50. It's important that at maturation, the differential between males and females is observed, acknowledged and practiced with quality control for efficient senior level swimming. For younger athletes, of course, extra strokes will be needed. For streamlining and efficient streamlining, and importantly, speed through streamlining, that the head position, as well as the hip position, play the vital role. Here we see this swimmer streamlining off the wall with fast, undulating dolphin kick, nice hip position in a torpedo or streamlined position with the head dropped slightly below the plane of the arms and the shoulders. It's important that each athlete experiments and experiments carefully and measures not only the distance that you're going under the water, but the speed that you're going and the position of the head and the hips because it will determine your efficiency and speed in this position. A coach must work with the swimmer to determine the ideal or the most efficient position during butterfly streamlining. It's important because this will be used in all of the three strokes, fly, back and free. Butterfly speed progression is where the swimmer using fins takes a dive off the wall and accelerates very fast with continuous kicking and a small stroke out in front, continuous 
concentrating on high elbows and the early catch position in the butterfly technique. The swimmer then hops to the side of the pool, hands close together and practices dolphin kicks but also the push through with the hands close together through the back of the stroke so it's learnt the timing of the leg kick and the push through and acceleration with the thumbs together under the belly button pushing out to the hips. You can see it better from the side here with the athlete pushing to the outside of the hips from a hands together position off the rail. This is then followed by 25 metres of the best technique that the athlete can do in butterfly swimming. Practicing the hands coming centred under the belly button through the back end of the stroke, practicing kick in, kick out. For speed swimming in butterfly, they must have acceleration under the belly button. The hands must come together in an inward skull under the belly button. You can see that even in this young swimmer here as the hands come through under the belly button. The position that I most like my butterfly and backstroke swimmers to utilise in developing high hip position while just kicking is the overlapping hand position and high elbow pushing the hands down the back as far as possible. This of course keeps the elbows and shoulders in the same position that you would like them to swim when doing the full stroke. It forces the hips high and it allows the swimmers to recruit a larger mass of muscle and hip stability with, a, with hip flexibility. I suggest that all flyers and backstrokers utilize this position both with and without fins. Butterfly is an easy stroke for the athlete to master. Provided the essentials of teaching are followed at a very young age. Provided the athlete learns feel of the water, has good skills in other strokes, and there's no reason why this little boy here cannot develop into a highly competitive swimmer along with a lot of other young swimmers. However, butterfly technique must be viewed and have quality control right through the athlete's learning phases. You can use fins, you can use without fins, However, the golden rule is, whatever you do with fins or a training aid, you should practice the same amount without training aids. Anytime that you practice poor technique, you are teaching the athlete to swim inefficiently, and that is not wise.